Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to show you how to add application insights monitoring to your website. In one of the previous episodes, I created Azure Tips and Tricks website. It's just you know, a simple website with awesome Times New Roman font and playlists to this video series, Azure Tips and Tricks on YouTube. You can access it through azuretipsandtricks.azurewebsites.net. And I would like to add application insights to this. So on the Azure portal, every time when you create new web app, we add application insights for you. So if you navigate to application insights, you can see that here there is Azure tips and tricks. I'll click it. And this is not accessible from the web app because app insights can be added also to your web apps that are created not on Azure. It can be random app hosted uh, on your on-prem server or even AWS or Google Cloud. You can add application insights to monitor it and application insights is free. So um, here I have my Azure tips and tricks. If I click usage here, you see it's not configured. So it's telling me, okay, you, you didn't configure it because we cannot do this configuration for you. You need to add something uh, to your website so we would be able to monitor how many people uh, request your, um, your pages. So if I click here on not configured, it will open a new blade, getting started. And here there's a section add code to monitor web pages. Now I'll click get code to monitor my web pages. And here I have the code snippet, similar like Google Analytics, that I can copy and paste. So I'll just copy the script, Control C, and I will go to Azure Tips and Tricks. I'll open it with Visual Studio Code. Here's my index.html, and I will paste this up inside script. Let's add some apps okay a little bit more here a little bit less here or actually i can maybe remove this totally okay this is my app insights i'll click save and in uh, the previous episodes i configured the deployment so i'll go to app services really quick and i'll find my azure tips and tricks here it is and in settings, I will click deploy, deployment source, and I am deploying it from GitHub. So uh, here, if I say git remote purpose, so not remove remote, I have GitHub and origin. Origin is the local Git repo. I can change this deployment source. I'll show this, how to configure this in one of the previous episodes. But currently I'm using GitHub. So I'm to say git commit add app insights and git push origin sorry git push github master ooh I have some changes I do 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 is behind. Ooh, let me rebase. Okay. Cool. Let's see how my index is merged. Okay, looks good. Let me push again. All right, cool. So I'll just go back to the Azure portal and see if my deployment kicked off. And here is it, add app insights. Okay, cool. So this is already there. And uh, so when I click Control U now, this is not refreshed website. So my script is not present. If I click refresh now, I should have my app insights script. Okay, it's here, cool. So now I can go back and go to app insights. And I can take advantage of journeys. I, I can navigate through it. I can click, click App Insights, find Azure Web Apps, or I can click here. And here I have my journey saved. So I'll click on App Insights. And I'll go back to the page I had before, to the blade I had before. 
And for now, it's telling me that it's still not configured because it didn't refresh. I'll control five. I'll maybe visit this from Edge browser. So I will get some more interesting telemetry there. I have Chrome and Edge browser as well. I'll visit it twice. Okay, let's refresh. And here you can see I have two users, two sessions, and six page views. Scroll down here and you can see I have two sessions from United States and one is from Chrome, one is from Microsoft Edge. And you can find my, much, much more about application insights here. There is a lot of different telemetry data you can take advantage of. So ch uh, check it out and you can learn more about application insights on the Azure documentation websites. And if you have any questions or suggestions about this video series, tweet me at Jacob Jedrzejczyk or you can find my information at my blog jg09.net.